hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you components in laravel first of all what is component and why we should use component is a reusable and encapsulated small chunk you can say small entity or subset of the laravel blade there are two approaches to create and write components first one is class based component second one is anonymous component now you have question why do we need this component and let me give you short answer if you want to build a reliable and extensible system you need component you can build large application with reusable small unit using laravel component let us make it more clear taking one small example suppose you wish to show alert in each and every page in your application and generally we show error message and success message success alert in whole application and each and every page in our large application and you have to write that alert code in each and every page let me show notification code first of all i'm going to show you success alert message in demo page now let me open different page with notify route and see three different kind of notification first one is error second one is warning and third one is success so we need to show this alert in whole application and need to write code like that let me open demo page we need to write here and test see this is three different alerts now i going to convert these into the one small component and use every place in this page demo page and other page so we need to create that component using artisan command first of all i going to create a class component using that command so i going to stop server let me make zoom so you can easily see the command php artisan make component and specify name of the component here i going to specify alert and c component created inside the component directory and component directory exist inside the view this component create directory and also create this alert dot blade dot php file also create class inside the app directory let me show you see here view directory and alert dot php inside the components directory so components directory created inside the view in resource and app and this is the basic structure of the component class name is alert and it's extend basic component class which by default provided by the laravel framework and this one is constructor and view file render from here so when we create component in our application and want to use this component in application so we no need to register and no need to do anything it's auto discoverable and automatically use and render in application so components dot alert and this alert you file exist here and we need to write html and css stuff here so i going to open that demo page and got this code again go to the alert dot blade and replace it here now i going to show you how to use this component 
so we need to specify x as a prefix of the component and let me render into the demo page where we cut so x and specify name of the component alert and that's it and just save and refresh the page we need to start server again PHP artisan so and let's go to the browser and open demo and see it's still displaying I'm going to cut this component from here and write it here as well instead of this success and make this comment out save and let's open notify again and see this component render now i going to show you how to make this message editable and uh, second thing is right now this one only shows success but we want to display different background and different types of alert for example error horning and success so we need to edit this class into the this file so we need to specify class here and pass variable instead of this success so i going to specify dollar type but you have question from where we get this variables value so let me open that alert dot php and we need to specify variable here and this pass value through this construct and we need to declare public so this variable automatically access in that view no need to pass into the view function like we do in controller and routes but in component we no need to specify if we specify public so let's specify public string need to specify type because we are using php latest version and that's it and we need to specify this not here but we need to specify here and we can access this type into the blood file here now i going to give you demo how you can pass you can pass fix and string value using html attribute like this just specify type and i going to specify um, success this type and save and let's see what's happen let and let's see what happen and see it's still green if i want to specify in horning i just need to change it to horning and refresh and see it's yellow so type of the error message is easily changed and you can easily put it now i want to show these messages dynamically because sometime and lots of time we need to throw error from the back end and need to display this message dynamically inside this alert so we can do it same way we just need to specify 
here variable and render for example message and specify dollar message and same way we need to add this message variable here publicly public string dollar message and I'm going to pass message like attribute here if I want to pass static message here and let's save and check see but it's different if I want to pass this message dynamically so I need to specify variable here but need to specify colon as a prefix in attribute and let me pass this variable from the backend web.php and we need to specify like this I already specified message and let me modify backend and let's pass this message into the test tablet and show this message here let's refresh and see this one is changed so we can easily pass variable data we can easily pass this static data into the component so now I'm going to show you this component use easily with different type warning error and let me show you success save just need to write this one line and that's it see so we can easily show it and display this alert now I going to show you if you want to create in inside the directory you can easily create inside directory let me create one test example ph partition alert and alert dot success and let's go to the alert and you can easily access this one if you want let's replace this one and this is test and just specify success here and this component use like no need this and just specify alert dot success save and let's refresh and see this is test so you can create sub component and uh, you can create inside the directive as well now I going to show you example how you can create anonymous component and first of all what is anonymous component anonymous component means only blade file is exist without component class that's it so I going to show you how you can create it so error and just specify view component created successfully just come here and check let's remove this comment and show directly and now I'm going to show you what this component use it's same no need any extra thing for
this anonymous component that class component when our part is fixed and static no need any dynamic stuff that time you can create this anonymous component and you can use it in your application for example you have a footer part and it's fixed no need to change and you just create one component and put it that's it so this is component thank you for watching video please write your feedback in comment box and ask any question if you have in comment box thank you